Yesterday I took a few hours to study Pycom, see if I can figure out the code. With all those videos I created, you hopefully realize that whatever you use as a basis, Cache OS, ArchConnect, Arch Linux, Reborn OS, right, it is all Arch. And one of, um, I think it was Cache OS that triggered me to look into the Pycom code once again. Right, so basically, all of the users, all the all the people that are using Pycom, must have a Pycom.conf right application configuration. And um, I was, um, I think, testing Cache OS at some point in time when I saw that there was also a Pycom.conf GitHub on there on the internet, right, on the on the on the repositories of in the repositories on GitHub. And let me show you what I've done to the code. It all begins with what ifs and they go to, in my case, ChatGPT or any other AI and say, come on, write me a script to do this or that. And suddenly everything is working, right? All right, that's better. <laughs> I have this script. So first of all, right, first of all, we're on Arconet. That's the last release from uh, Arconix, right? Arconet May. That means if you update things, you have, you don't have, I have to say, you don't have Arconix. We're relying on Chaotic for the bulk of the stuff. And we're relying on my personal Nemesis repo. For example, this guy, that's what the video is about. PyCam is not used in so many desktops, but it's often used in tiling window managers like ChatWM or Fork of DWM. So first of all, let's update. As usual, these things go in etc's cal. So they are not on your home directory. And tiling window managers need a config and they are in your home directory. So it's up to you to do a scalp or not, right? Just grab one folder and copy paste it over to home directory but i like to do it like this look at the design the borders are not rounded there is no shadow often and depending on the future right pycom will change and the parameters will change you need to adapt the pycom.conf that is now copy pasted over the script I was talking about is Control Alt O. You put it between I after a, another key binding if you don't like it. You saw there was a little message up there, killing Pykem. And this is neat, right? I, I should have had that what if earlier. This is nice. Control Alt O. I was experimenting and I wanted to, to test between different configs. One is still there, it's really is called like a cache OS, right? It's just, I'm gonna make another script. I'm just thought to grab it from the internet and put it in here. So I always have, when I push to the internet, I always have the very last Pycom cache OS. This is the one that I, I made now and all differences, yeah? You, you do the, you select these two guys. So where are we? We select these two guys and we compare. So this is all backups and backups. Here is ArcoChatWM, here is PyCam, that's where it reads its files. So you have, if you're on BSPWM, you need to change the path. If you're on Xmonad, you need to change the path, etc., etc. right? But this is pointing to the user, dollar user, and then it reads what's in that directory and it gives us a nice list. Control Alt O. And I select like this and say, okay, let's try this out. Is this code working? Uh, do I like the blur that's here, etc.? It's a little bit rounded here, as you see at the top. Um, so yeah, there are choices to be made. Control Alt O, it kills. Control Alt O, and uh, let's go and select something else, right? This is, I think, the original what we had in the past. So this is my code in the past, and it went away. You see, there, there are strange things happening. So I had to look why is VirtualBox behaving like it is? And that's why I basically started looking for something um, to try, right? Say, so what is changed? Things change, 
applications change but the config often is forgotten and then you get strange things so there you go um, a script you go and visit other distros copy paste their PyCam configuration give it a name like SOS like this one right and then you say okay that's how they do it now I'd like to let me oh, look at that right still not okay on VirtualBox this guy here we see the border here rounded and I didn't like that so really Control T and sometimes it's actually in VirtualBox it stops working right pycom.conf I think this is maybe still the best one but then sometimes you need to log out right it uh, depends sometimes you need to let it really kick back in the complete pycom.conf is loaded up Control T and as you see VirtualBox ah uh, right it tries it tries but it's not meant for VirtualBox anyway GLX and all that uh, X render you know probably those names it's somewhere in the config and it all matters what software hardware do we have uh, etc so for me this is great on my real metal machine um, but voila um, have a look at the code it's of course where it should be github.com slash Eric Dubois these are personal projects right so if I make a video it's gonna be called edu video all right cheers